Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. We're going to continue with the Wix tutorials here. Now we're going to go into the design aspect of this uh, example website. Um, there, there are a couple of things again to do with it. Uh, one uh, is if you click into the design uh, tab here, it allows you to configure the background, uh, the color palette, and also the font styling. So we're going to go over each one of these quickly. Why don't we start with the color because that's the simplest. If you click in the color, uh, it allows you to select from a few preset palettes here. Okay, so let's put, pick Tranquil C. As you can see, uh, most of the color around the website uh, has been transformed instantaneously. So you can just go through a few of these and pick the ones that you like the best, and you can use them. Okay, and if you want to go back to default, just come back to the top. Now you can also customize your own design, your own mix mashing of color to suit your, your own style. And you can just select them here. It's very simple actually. So just coming back to design, you can also choose your font style. You can select from any of these font styles. A nice touch is that Wix display a bunch of different uh, font styles for you so you can see what you're getting into. If you click into any one of these, you can see that the fonts are changed right before your eye. Everything is pretty instant, so it makes it very handy. Okay, and if you can't find the fonts here, you can click into Customize Fonts and you can choose uh, your own settings here. Coming back to Design, if you click on Background, Wix actually gives you a, a different a variety of background images that you can use uh, as a background for this template. So why don't we just randomly pick this one here. As you can see, background shows up uh, right here. And if you can't find anything you like, you can actually upload and customize your own background. So let's just say if I change, um, change the image. I have one pre-uploaded here already. If you want to upload your own, click Upload Image. Okay, But I have one here already, so I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click OK. As you can see, this is my own background image and you can actually control uh, the image scaling here if you want the image to show up as a full screen or you want it to tile. Uh, this is particularly useful if you have a very small uh, image so it will tile across the entire background. If you have a larger image you can use full screen so you can see the actual picture um, such as a picture of the beach or of a building, uh, whatever it is, uh, Wix will automatically make the image full screen. And you can also position the image uh, right here. So the styling um, of the background, Wix actually gives you a whole bunch of different options to play with. It's pretty easy to understand how it works and at the same time, if you have any questions, just click on the question mark here and it will show you a lot of guidance. The support from Wix is really comprehensive and highly encourage you to take advantage of that. So overall that is how you style uh, the major pieces of the website and Wix makes it very simple for you to do so in the design panel.